Global thinking around transport and communities has shifted in very recent years. For decades, the world had used a car-first model for infrastructure development. Led by climate change awareness, many forward-thinking municipalities are making changes to our infrastructure to better suit the needs of individuals, communities and the planet. These alterations don't happen without a bit of upset and a change to habits. One such project is the Coastal Mobility Route that runs from Blackrock to Sandy Cove in South County Dublin. I grew up along the route and thought it worthwhile to give it a go and leave some thoughts with you. The pleasure of this route starts when one turns to the coast in Blackrock Village. and turns onto iDrone Terrace. There are fantastic sea views across Dublin Bay to Hoth. As we leave Black Rock behind, the route turns onto Seapoint Avenue at what used to be Meany's shop, but that's a story for a different day. The surface of the track is great and it's well marked and signposted, making it feel pretty safe. A few hundred metres down the track, once again the bay is revealed to us at Seapoint Beach, a popular swimming spot and the home of one of the Martello Towers that defended our coastline from the Napoleonic invasion that never happened. The Martello Tower at Seapoint was a summer ice cream shop back in the day. Along this stretch, the park on the left is what used to be the gardens of the Victorian houses on the right. Terraces of these beautiful houses pepper the route all the way to Sandy Cove. We pass the Salt Hill Apartments, built on the site of the Salt Hill Hotel, itself built in 1843. Around the bend into Old Dunleary, past the Purty Kitchen, and the back of what was once the Top Hat Ballroom. We start a small climb up to the traffic lights where we make a left and a right turn to stay right on the coast. This is really enjoyable cycling. We cycle by a lovely green space beside the Royal Irish Yacht Club. on towards the old mailboat pier. Our semi-colonial past is brought back into sharp focus by the Royal St George Yacht Club and then the National Yacht Club as we ascend again to rejoin the segregated section of the cycleway. One needs to be mindful of pedestrians, dogs and car doors along this stretch as we cycle on past the East Pier, part of the Dunleary Harbour construction finished in the 1820s. There are fantastic views over Scotsman's Bay as we cycle along the park towards Sandy Cove, home of another Martello Tower, famous by being named after James Joyce who tenanted there for a brief spell. It now houses a small museum to the great author. This cycleway is a fantastic amenity and a great way to commute or just to take in the sights and history of the South Dublin coastline.